Hi, I'm Tom Jones, and I want to take this time to show you how I set up to do my paintings with my new starter set, DVDs. First of all, let me get you started with the brushes. I have this wonderful brush set that comes in a leatherette case with six brushes. Now, you'll notice in the palette, I have some empty spaces, and there's a reason for that, and I'll talk about that in just a moment. But for now, notice that I have permanent Matter Lake Brown here. I have Yellow Ochre here, Hooker Green Deep here, Lemon Yellow, Permanent Red Deep, Quinacridone Rose, Ultramarine Blue Deep, and Cerulean Blue. Now, for these starter kits, I would want you to set up your palette exactly as I have it so that you can go directly to each color as I mention it in the DVD. In the future, we'll have expanded DVDs that'll give you more advanced colors. That's the reason I left these spaces open. And when we get to that point, I'll tell you what colors that you should put in each one of those spaces, and then you'll have a complete palette at that time. But for the time being, I'd like you to work with these colors only, and they'll make it easier for you. Now, in addition to this, in addition to your palette, you'll also receive a water bucket. You're going to receive some other items. You're going to receive a wonderful uh, jar of frisket for a resist to put on your paper to save the white spaces. In addition to that, you're going to have aqua cover, which is also a whitening type uh, product that we use for highlights, to paint birds, etc. You're going to get a number two uh, pencil along with it. You're going to get some wonderful watercolor paper, which we'll talk about more in just a moment. And then around your house, you're going to have some incidental items that you may also want to include. Some tissue, as an example, will work beneficially to you. In addition to that, a common hair dryer. Also, you may want to use that for drying your painting. In addition, you may want a couple of sponges to help clean up your palette or to keep in your palette to keep your paints moistened. You just put the lid on and it'll stay moist for you for days. In addition, a couple of hand towels in case you need to cover up an area, clean your hands or clean up an area, and then an eraser. Those are the items you'll have around your house that you can use commonly. Let's talk a little bit about the paper now. Now, this paper is a fine 300 pound watercolor paper. You're going to love this. Let me show you what we've done here. This happens to be a full sheet of paper, 22 by 30, and you'll notice that I have a half sheet. I'm going to show you how to tear this paper so that you'll have 10 sheets to work with instead of, instead of just five. In this case, you're going to have a lot of fun using this starter set to do all of these paintings, and you're going to have beautiful paintings as a result. Let me set this one aside, and let me take just a moment. Let me go ahead and tear this paper for you. This is quite simple. Remember, we have a nice deckled edge all the way around the paper. We want to keep that deckled edge after we tear the paper, so I'm going to show you how to do that. You simply take the paper and fold it over very carefully like so, so that the edges meet. Take your hand and place it tightly or firmly right here. Then what you want to do is press down on the paper. Now remember, you're not going to hurt the paper. It's going to fold and crease very nicely. Go across it like so. Then I like to turn it over, do exactly the same thing, like so. Just press down on it. Then take your paper and just do a little bit of this idea. And that will help break those fibers and loosen it up for you. And let me show you what we'll do now. Watch this. I'm going to take the edge of the paper and I'm simply going to start a tear at the edge of the paper like so. See how I've done that? Then I'll come around to the other side and I'll do exactly the same thing. I'll start tearing that paper. Then I'm going to lay it on the table, put my hand firmly on the paper, and then pull this edge away. And there you have two beautiful sheets of white watercolor paper ready to paint with. Now pop in any of my DVDs from the Tom Jones starter set and you're ready to paint.